why do you need water? Don't say to drink, because that doesn't actually answer the question. What is so special about water that literally every single living thing needs it? Time for a chemistry lesson. Don't worry, I hate chemistry, but this is actually fascinating. A water molecule has one oxygen and two hydrogen atoms. Oxygen and each hydrogen share a pair of electrons, forming strong covalent bonds. But oxygen doesn't share well, so it pulls the electrons close, causing a slight negative charge on the oxygen side and a slight positive charge on the hydrogen side. The water molecule is therefore polar. The opposite poles of different water molecules are attracted to each other, forming hydrogen bonds. These are individually weak, but they're constantly breaking and forming, and so collectively, they give water its superpower. Let me say this again for dramatic effect. Every organism we know of is alive because this tiny molecule is polar and forms hydrogen bonds. You might be asking, so what does that mean? I am glad you asked. Water's polarity results in four important characteristics. Water dissolves almost everything because its charged poles pull other molecules apart. This makes it the perfect medium for nearly all chemical reactions in our cells, like breaking down food, building proteins, transporting nutrients, and eliminating wastes. Water sticks to nearly everything because its poles are attracted to other charges. Cohesion is water sticking to itself, creating things like surface tension, which you might be aware of if you've ever belly flopped. Adhesion is water sticking to other surfaces. In case you've always wondered, this is how water moves against gravity up a plant. Water resists changes in temperature because it takes a lot of energy to break the hydrogen bonds. This is why bodies of water like oceans, your body, and yes, that pot on the stove, heat up and cool down slowly. Water expands when it freezes because the molecules lock into an open lattice. This is why pipes burst when they freeze. It's also why ice floats. If frozen water sank, lakes would freeze from the bottom up. Floating ice insulates everything under it. Why do you need water? Without its unique density, the world would freeze solid. Without its stability, our cells would boil. And without its dissolving power, no reaction would happen. And all of that because of hydrogen bonds. I do love biology, but I guess I'll have a drink to chemistry.